Now this is an example of one of the A4 size butterflies. Now in all of the template sets you can get the mirror image as well. Now because this looks quite similar there are differences and if you put these two together and had it in a window or something you would see it was wrong but you've got the both sides here. Now just to go through there's various ways of getting these accurately together. If you've got a printer that the paper tray is not disturbed in between whether you do the top or the mirror, whichever one you want. If you do them all at the same time, then theoretically they should go back to back evenly. If not, you can use a window, just hold it up to the window, put them back to back and you can see through the window where the edges are, hold it in place and stick it together. Or you can use a light box, but I just want to show you this first. So basically you should be able to turn that over and put that directly over the top if you've used the same printer at the same time. And that will, if you make sure it's exactly over the top there like that. I've got a light box here. You can see that you can see right through there and you can't see the edges of the other butterfly. So theoretically it should work. It doesn't always work if the paper should move. So what you can also do is say use a window but you can also use a light box. I can see the butterfly through there and then it's quite easy then to lay this down. Just hover over the top like that and you can see how you can put those together. Now you've got various ways of putting these together. You could use double sided tape, you could use a thin layer of PVA glue, or you can use the technique I'm going to use now, just using a three in one glue. Uh, and it's easy to do. I just put that there. Now you don't have to be really fancy with this because you want it to hold it in position and you don't want it all over the place. So I'm just going to squiggle around. It's the only way that I can do it. It doesn't matter if it goes out because there's various ways of cutting these out. Whether you want to cut them all the way right up to the edge or as I tend to do, leave a white border all the way around. It just makes them stand out more. And then just roughly put some glue over the top there. And because of this glue, you have got a bit of wiggle time. You just take your butterfly and lay that over as close as possible. You can see the shadow underneath and you just line those up like that. That's not quite right. There you, there you go. That's perfect. Once you've got it perfect, then just press it down. And then all you have to do straight away, because this glue works really fast, all you have to do then is just cut this out. And I'm going to leave a little border around the outside. And there you can see I've cut the butterfly out and it's all on both sides like that. Now you can use that in lots of different ways. Now you can do that with all the butterflies and all the sizes. Here's an example here. That was an A4 sheet. I've already done one there. You can see you just flip the butterfly over. That's the A, that's the medium large. Then you've got the large here too, the medium, sorry. And that's what I've done with this one, double-sided. You get two to a page and there you go. You've got your butterfly ready to use on your projects that you want. I've got this one here, which is the small. And I've done that with both of those. Put two together, cut that out. And I've got four butterflies I can start using. And you can also do it on the mini and the mini mini a very small one so this is the large one here and it's you can see i've printed out one side and i printed out the mirror image those two again will go together and you think oh that's a fiddly job it's not they line up and you can see through those stick them together you only need to put a little blob of glue on the back of each of these because they uh, just go really well and there they are just all cut out there's lots of things you can do with that using that on different projects that'd be really good for a hair grip maybe putting in your hair or jewelry you could varnish them you could do all sorts of things and i've also got an example of here of all the different butterflies or some of the butterflies and you can see what i've done here with the mini size and again 
It's up to you the way you want to stick them together, but this is just a basic technique for making the beautiful butterflies for your projects.